Yeah, this looks good. This is, uh, you know, it's taking something that's from 2004 and making it modern. So uh, we're just gonna pull off our old Faruna radar dome. Um, Got to pull the cover off just to get in the shop here. So we're gonna replace it with a Garmin one uh, probably next week. So we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way. One less thing to remove to pull the boat in and out of the garage. And whoever installed this did a really nice job. Uh, all the extra lengths of wire are coiled up. Um, so we've got the back of our old Faruna radar. Got all the extra wire coiled up. And nice P clamps running up and around. And then it looks like the wires run down. So right here, and then these wires run up the forward leg of our T-top. So I have no idea what any of this does, but Looks like there's four wires and a strain relief and we'll have this thing off our, our roof. So ground. All right, our radar is off. All right, so UPS snuck in. We've been uh, looking all week at the tracking. I just checked that it, it said our package was in Greensboro. But, uh, this one is not in Greensboro. This should be our electronics. At least some of it. I think this is probably the kit Radar. with the dome. Yeah. Ooh, that's an unboxing. Look at that thing. Maybe a display. Oh, there's our cutout template. Oh, excitement plus. Ooh, these things are heavy. Look at that thing. A beauty. Nice. What else is in here? Radar dome. Oh. Well, so much for uh, tearing out electronics tomorrow. Might as well get started now. Yeah, yeah so the plan is to get all this done um, by Saturday so we can go fishing. And we're going fishing. It's Wednesday now. Yeah, it's Wednesday afternoon. All right, so yesterday I uh, took our piece of half inch starboard over to my buddy John Boy's house and we cut out the uh, outer dimensions, routered the edge, and then cut out our um, holes for our two 12 inch Garmin displays. So today I'm just finishing the cutouts. Um, got our radio, our autopilot, and our VHF radio cut out. And we just took the templates laid everything out where we wanted it and taped it down with masking tape, uh, drilled the holes out, and then we're following it up with the skill saw. So hopefully um, once we get everything cut out or we don't have to go back through too much and, and open it up to make everything fit, but it should look really nice when we're done. Definitely gonna be an update from our 2004 electronics. So. Some electronics are here. We're going to go ahead and yank out all these old electronics and then piece everything back together. So first step, we're going to unhook the back side of all our displays and radios, and then we'll move around to the front, undo the bolts and just yank the panel out and see what wires we have left to remove. So here we go. Out. 
you know, we've got to pull this down so we can get our power and radar cables run. All right, coming down. I got it. So we have two wires we need to run for the radar, a communication and a power cable. And currently we have a tiny little hole that I don't think any of our connectors will fit through. So we may be uh, opening that up. So everything is really bound up trying to pull the wires. And this VHF antenna is mounted directly above the tube. So maybe it's, look at the hat. There's a gigantic access plug or hole. We should be able to get much better angle of attack on everything now. We'll just be pulling straight through here. All right, so we're, yeah, we're not gonna, we're gonna come out here straight to the dome. And uh, here's our network cable. We're gonna be able to just get that thing down there. Oh yeah, that'll go. All right. cable plugged in and our data cable plugged in. We're going to put some 4200 on the studs where they come through. So we'll put the radar dome on and inevitably there's going to be some of this goop Ooh. dripping through. making a spacer block to move our antenna mount up so we don't crush our radar wires. <laughs> Not my prettiest work. Well, this was a scrap piece, so the extra holes should not be, you know, don't look too close. There you go. It's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, perfect. So I don't know if you've seen the footage of um, getting the boat into our warehouse, but we had to take off the Furuno cover. And this radar should be one inch shorter than the old one, but it's going to be really close. We might have to uh, deflate the tires to get this boat out of here. Find out soon, tomorrow. Just going to practice getting our counter sinks to the right depth. So when we go back with our panel, all our screws are uniform and look nice. It's perfect. Four, four and a quarter. So Leon's got our panel. I'll go grab that and we'll start countersinking some holes. Counter sinks are all done. Now we need to read our inst install directions and figure out which one of these holes we're supposed to drill. Uh, it came with a little, almost looks like a chain link, bicycle chain link. Um, Want to make sure we're drilling the right holes. pilot just wait i mean we i we, if we had a do we have another piece of that board we should we could screw that on there um and in my jeep yeah we'll make a little plate for that oh. bring those panels and then we'll build a little thing for that unveiling unveiling yeah that can't be good it's good to be lucky there you go Yeah. Sharpie. Oh, this needs to go. Yeah. Just a little bit. 
And look at this. Beautiful. I mean, assuming that will jazz fits, but that's not much trimming that's needed. It's a lot of material there. I think that's cored pretty thick. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting down here. So, uh, yeah, we had we had drilled these smaller screws to attach the panels um, out, I would say incorrectly, but this little chart was hard for me to decipher. Um, basically, if you're gonna use the wood screws, you should drill out to 330 seconds or 2.3 millimeters. And we went with the 3.5. Um, so what that meant is we had to use the included uh, bolts and, and uh, machine screws and, and these, these nut plates. Uh, you can see it. They're all in there. Um, it's a, maybe not as ideal as just the wood screws, but um, it's what we got. So that's um, the autopilot that I've yet to purchase. Um, I was, I won't say I was waffling on whether or not it was going to get autopilot, but um, Matt decided to cut the hole in there basically to commit. So well played, sir. <laughs> All right. Moment of truth. That's all this lined up. Yeah, it needs to come up a hair more. All right, so we got this top center screw in. Yeah. The only thing that I saw that's even close is the bottom this mount here. of this. This one's not. Huh? Uh, those are all. They're not. Gonna have to line them up. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. We'll be fine. Something. Things. I mean, it would be the corner. I think it's just the. Uh, yeah, we're hitting in the top corner. So we'll leave it up like this for now. All right. And I'll go ahead and get the electrical done. And then we'll pull it off, cut that corner out, and then we'll put our silicone on and slap it up permanently. Doesn't look too bad, man. No, I love it. Transducer is, I don't know what this is, a 10 pin. 10 pin connector and Garmin provided a 12 to eight adapter. So we cannot plug our transducer into the back of our fish finder. So I have to figure that one out. Kind of a bummer because those don't go together and those don't go together. I'm just trying to keep things halfway as organized as they were before I started. It's such a beautiful job. It's not an easy task to uh, run all this stuff neatly. Still just thinking about that transducer. What are, what are we going to do? We're supposed to fish tomorrow. I mean, we can always run out and just look for a weed line, but it's kind of fishing blind. Not having depth or water temperature. Hey, what's that one? That one looks kind of ghetto. Oh. Whose is that one? It didn't have enough room. Is that yours? I put that in there, yes. What um, is that going? That's going to the ground. Where is it coming from? It'll be fixed. Don't you worry. Once we verify the radar, because um, I didn't cut off any of the radar yet. Okay. Once we verify the radar works. And, uh, there's some cleanup to be done. I'm just looking at this like errant black wire that's temporary. Okay, temporary. Yeah, this looks good. This is, uh, you know, it's taking something that's from 2004 and making it modern. I tell you, with the uh, that old electronics, I considered this boat unusable. Uh, I, yeah, not, not, not working for me yet. This, now I can drive this boat. Next big jump will be new motors, which will look good as much as anything. And then, I guess, cushions. We should have a list. Pretty much, get, they're getting smaller and smaller issues, but 
Electronics has been a big one. The trailer still needs some work. We need to maybe make our door taller in this building. <laughs> so we've yet to connect the NEMA, which would give you all the information from the motors. That will be the next um, small project. So that will give us your uh, fuel economy and fuel burn, all the engine gauges and such alarms. But we have all that down here as well. Um, what Matt's doing right now is he's connecting the Garmin network between these two panels, and that will give um, our master panel, which has sonar and radar information across to, I guess we could call that a slave panel, but that's just that so that this panel doesn't have sonar and radar capabilities, but it does have the network. So once we connect them, they should be equivalent. I like that we're in Africa. That's pretty awesome. Pretty extensive maps if they've got all the details of Africa here. We'll see if it'll be able to find us. So we are. We should be we should be up in here somewhere. I'm sure our radar isn't running. It's spinning up. I don't uh, radiate all of this. Yeah, you know, I can hear it. I'm not sure what to say about that. We're in a metal building. <laughs> it's probably going to be a... <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> you find something better than that. I, that was the radio. I'm going to disconnect everything and we'll pull it off, seal it up, and put it back on. We need to cut that corner out. It's pushing things down a bit. I mean, you see those two screws? Yeah. Yeah, I just... That's fine. All right, you ready to pull it out once that can go ahead? So just that top corner. I think so. We're about a quarter of a screw hole off. Should just be able to let this corner pass the bring it down. You can see the we're all right. All right. Closer. Can you push it towards me? Yeah, we're we're good. That's all it took. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna do that? Yeah. How are you gonna do that? Once you got to do that after it's already on. I think this this falls into that category where I was saying this is how we did it. Not necessarily how we'd recommend anybody else do this. So there was discussion on what kind of material should be used here, and uh, initially we had a silicone. I'll say we loosely. Um, I I have all sorts of fear of silicones, and uh, this this may be a silicone, but it certainly um, performs more like a urethane, which will mean it'll bond to itself. It's paintable, and this particular one is uh, designed for uh, external use and is mold and mildew resistant. We shall see. Um, it should also be UV resistant, which will keep it from discoloring and breaking down. Um, the silicones have a tendency, certainly on the clear, will go brown under sun. So these are all things that we're trying to avoid with this. Will do to a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So much more usable. Like that other, well, you know, the other twenty year old electronics. I was like, I didn't even want to go down the river with it. It was like it was just a line. All you got was a line and no charts. Now, now I'll figure out how to make it work. <laughs> yeah, get my coordinate old coordinates in and hook up the transducer. I was trying to figure out how to import my uh, waypoints. Last time we put the memory card in, it popped up to, you know, data was available. And now I don't, hard to believe they had changed the menu this much. I'm a Garmin person. And you can't I've even been using it. Garmin for the last, I don't know, 12 years. 
20 years and I can't figure out how to import my data. Oh, I broke it off. Ouch. Oh, that is in there. Oh, come on. Just make it just sawed off and. This is my chainsaw file, which is the only file we have in our lives here in this shot. I filed all the edges around here before I brought my Dremel out. And now, this is a much more appropriate use of this file, is filing down this broken screw. You know what would be great is if we had that, ex do we have reverse drill bits, like that extractor set here? Not that small. This is smoke. Look at that. Well done. Even a blind squirrel catches a nut every now and again. All right, see, no problem, nothing to see here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to where we were 20 minutes ago. This is the biggest uh, win of this whole project right there. In. <laughs> of all the things. There you go!